what's in my beach bag video for you today. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is actually not in the beach bag, so it kind of defeats the purpose. But anyway, it's my big floppy hat. I always like to bring my big floppy hat with me to the beach. Um, I look kind of silly in it. I'm not gonna put it on because I have my hair up in a bun. And I normally have my hair down and it looks a lot better. But anyway, um, so big floppy hat, it is packable too, so I can stick it inside the beach bag or just wear it, whatever. And it's vented so it's not gonna fly off my head if the wind blows. So we all know that happens. <laughs> um, all right, so then I also have my terry towel, of course. Always have to have my beach towel. And some reading material. Generally, it's a magazine rather than a book, but um, that's okay. So um, I always stock up on magazines to bring with me to the beach or the pool. Um, this particular one's a gardening magazine, but sometimes it'll be like a yoga magazine or some sort of a green living kind of magazine. And let's see, I always have my cell phone course with me as well as my earbuds so I can listen to some tunes and my wallet gotta have the wallet too as well as my um, keys which I didn't put in here but and uh, sunglasses these are the Zenny optical if you've seen any of my other uh, summer videos or packing videos I love Zenny if you use uh, any type of prescription need a prescription for sunglasses, you can get them from zenioptical.com and they're really inexpensive, a lot less expensive than you would find from your optometrist. So that's great. And I always have snacks, whether I'm at the beach or I'm like around town, I always have snacks with me. So generally speaking, I'll bring a big coconut water with me and then I'll bring some sort of a snack bar, nine times out of 10 it's a lar bar or some sort of a raw food bar. And then I'll also bring my snack sticks, these are Trader Joe's, but Whole Foods carries them to um, Vermont Smoke and Cure is another great um, brand. So I always bring some sort of a, a jerky with me too, because it keeps really well and doesn't need to be refrigerated. And then a few other things um, for sunscreen. This is the sunscreen that I use. This is the Badger Anti-Bug Sunscreen. Um, it's all natural ingredients. Um, the only things that are in here, the actual sunscreen of it is zinc oxide. And then it also has extra virgin olive oil, um, beeswax, castor oil, let's say cedar, lemongrass oil, rosemary oil, and geranium. Um, so all Badger products are incredibly eco-friendly. They are gluten-free, soy-free, not tested on animals. They do a great job. So I like the bug one because I always seem to get bit. If I'm outside for like a second, I will get bit <laughs> by something. So I like having the anti-bug and the sunscreen in one so I'm not having to carry a whole bunch of products with me. And then speaking about Badger, I've got a lip balm that I use too. This is the vanilla scented cocoa butter lip balm, um, also by Badger. I love this company so, so much. Um, this one has really good ingredients too. It has very similar actually. Extra virgin olive oil, cocoa, butter, beeswax, castor oil, aloe, vanilla, um, sea buckthorn, what is that, rosemary, and rosehip. So that's it, that's all that's in here. And you can get these, um, at least this one I have gotten from Ulta in the past, but you can get them on Amazon or wherever, anywhere. So that's a great. Uh, a couple of band-aids, clumsy, so I always have to have that. I always have a nail file all the time anyway. Uh, hair tie, just in case I need a hair tie. And some wet wipes before I eat my little snack. And some tissues, always have tissues with me. And, and then I have a tea bag just in case I do get bit. Um, wet it, put it on the bug bite, it'll draw the venom out and it'll take the swelling away from your bug bite. So just a tip, um, it only works with black tea bags. So stock up on those if you are susceptible to bug bites like I am. So there we go. And then um, that's it. I also have a Ziploc bag that I put anything that I don't want to get wet in. So like my phone and my wallet. Um, always have that with me. And then my actual bag um, I got from the container store last season. It's called Riesenthal or Risenthal. I don't think that's the right way to pronounce it. But anyway, they had a whole bunch of different styles up by the register and they had them on sale when they were doing their luggage sale last summer or last year. Um, but it's really actually just a reusable shopping bag. That's what the main purpose of it is. Um, but I've got it for a beach bag because I like to be able to pack it up and it's pretty big. You can fit all of this stuff in there. And um, it just rolls up into this little tiny container, this little package. And you just stick this around it. 
and there you go you have a little bundle bag here which is awesome so all right guys that's it i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe i'll see you soon bye